Graphing calculators can quickly find the least common multiple of groups of numbers or pairs of numbers or a list of numbers. Any way you set it up, the calculator can find the least common multiple. Here's how I might do it. Um, so first of all, the LCM command is under the math window. So you press the math button, scroll to the right. This is number right here, and you scroll through, through. And on my calculator, the LCM command is number eight. So I well, I missed it there, but I'll press number eight. And there's the LCM command. Now, if you're looking at two numbers, let's say six and fifteen. No, well, we'll start six and eight. Well, I put a comma between them, six and eight. And you don't even really need to close the parentheses, but I like to do that. So uh, I close the parentheses, press enter, and there's the LCM. But you can also set up a list of numbers. So I might do the same thing, hit second, enter, to call up the LCM command. And now instead of two single numbers, I'm going to compare two lists of numbers. Um, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to hit second and then create that curvy parenthesis right there. And then I'm going to enter my first list of numbers. Let's say two and three and four. And I'm going to close those parentheses, put a comma, and then set up another list the same way. Now what the graphing calculator is going to do is compare each pair of corresponding numbers. So my next numbers will be five and I'll explain six and seven. And then I close the parentheses and then put a larger bracket around it and press enter. Now what happened here? Well for two and five those are both the first numbers in each list. The graphing calculator compared them and found that the LCM of each of those pair the, of that pair is ten. And the next pair was what? Well it was three and the next number list, which was six, let's see if I can scroll over, hopefully I can. No, unfortunately I can't, this calculator. I'm trying to scroll over, no. Um, let me do this though. I want to see the original list, I'm just going to press second, enter. So here's that list I just set up. And the second pair was three and six. And their LCM is six. And the last number was four and seven. Seven and four are relatively prime. They have no common factor, so their LCM is just their product. 7 times 4 is 28. Now, the LCM command um, can also, I think, one other thing that's nice is that you can also call up a list to compare to a value. So the LCM command, let's say I have a list of three numbers, let's say 6, 10, and, I don't know, 18. And I close the list with that curvy bracket add a comma. Now I want to compare each of these numbers to um, let's say 4. And what this will do is find the LCM of 6 and 4, 10 and 4, and 18 and 4. And I'll press enter. And then it finds the LCM for each pair. So 6 and 4, their LCM is 12. 10 and 4, their LCM is 20 and so forth. Now another way of course you could enter a list is to press um, the stat button right here and then the first choice is to edit and here you can edit more complex lists and compare them maybe even quicker so for example if list 1 is just 1 and 2 and 3 list oops 3 and list 2 let's say is um, 5 9 and 12 although I'll put 59 whatever, okay, 59 12 and 14. Um, okay, so how do you call up these lists really quick? Well, what you can do is, once those are saved, you can hit math, and here you have LCM, hit second, list, and then um, the list names are right here. So L1, hit enter, and then comma, L2. Now it compares these corresponding list items, just like we did before with those two lists. This might be a lot more convenient if you already have the list entered for some other reason, um, or there are extremely long lists um, and you have to compare several of them. I, I think that this can be helpful in some scenarios, I just wanted to show it to you. Alright, thanks.